Hey guys, welcome to another part of Mega Man X. After a while, I'm back, and um, I'm not. I'm, I'm honestly not sure how this will go because I haven't played in a long time. But I have. I still have some sub tanks. I made sure I have same about that I did from last time. Because when uh, when you exit the game, uh, when you exit Mega Man X and you re-enter the password, like let's say if I beat Sigma One and I enter the password, when I beat Sigma One, you still have to uh, start from Sigma One when you. Uh, replay the game so basically you can't uh, save in between Sigma stages which is kind of a bummer but no I powered through Sigma 1 but I did use two uh, sub tanks so I refilled one so I have three like how it did alright yeah so again uh, I apologize if my skill wasn't as good as it was like previously in the let's play because again I haven't played this game in a while <coughs> uh, excuse me yeah I'm also kind of sick Oh, you might hear a coughing. You could, you could probably hear my sickness in my voice. Uh, responding enemies. There we go. Okay. Alright. I think we fight Chill Penguin here. Oh, that was right. Okay. There we go. Now, that was embarrassing. <laughs> I also think it's better than my first time that I did this time. But I also want to mention that I really love Team of Sigma 2. It's probably my favorite theme in Mega Man X. In, in not this series, but in this game. It's one of my favorite themes in the series, but not my favorite. My favorite is the Zero theme from X2. Right armor is just, right armor is really useful for this part, honestly, because it takes all the damage for you, and that's also really strong, as you can see. Okay, so I'm just gonna, excuse me, I'm just gonna come up here, and from what I remember, I'm gonna use this thing, chameleon weapon right here. Got to go quickly. Uh, this team is really good. Alright, so I think the weirdness of this boss is the Sting Chameleon weapon, so I'm not going to use all of it. And we hear Storm Eagle. And all Majestic. Alright, one more. Got him. Alright, so... I don't use the sub tank right before we get to the boss, or, unless I get really low in health, for whatever reason. Hmm. I remember correctly, if you charge this up, it can, this can completely destroy the shield. Oh, okay, I still got hit, but, you know. Not as much as if I didn't charge it up. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna use another sub tank. Wait, did I use one? I don't remember. I think I used one in the last Sigma stage. Actually, yeah, I did. That's right. So that's the only one I used this level. Not too bad, I suppose. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the weakness of this boss is uh, the Sting Chameleon. But... It can be kind of tough, because you see the spikes in the middle. comes the nose. They're not really doing so hot. Alright, there we go. Got two hits in there. Hopefully I don't use up all of it. Oh, 
I mean, I don't think it honestly matters because ammo refills in between bosses, but you know, I just hope I don't use it up before I'm finished the boss. Oh, I didn't mean to jump again, I meant to shoot. Alright, got one eye down. Get this second one. Alright, there we go. We did have to use a sub tip. Alright, and on to Sigma 3, and Sigma 3 has a lot of uh, refights with the Mavericks that we've already fought. That's just a copia redundancy, because refights means you already fought it and you find it again. Anyway, uh, yeah, time to go to Sigma 3. And I don't have the Dukin anymore, because the same thing is what was saving. So like, every time you turn off the game, you lose the Hadouken, even if you enter the password from when you had it. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Oh wow, I dodged all those projectiles. It's nice. Alright, I don't know what boss this is. Okay, it's Armored Hobbitel. This guy's kinda... It's kinda tricky. There we go, okay. That took way too much damage on that. Alright, I think I might want to use Sting Chameleon for this. Sting Chameleon's weapon, that is. Ah, I should grab that uh, health energy up there. Oh, Sting Chameleon's really easy, because I, I can just lock a mini pattern with the uh, Boomerang Coinger's weapon. Okay, I gotta think about how to do this carefully. There we go, okay. Because I want that health up there. Just the boomerang cutter. Alright, let's just. Oh, I just want the health. There we go. Oh, that wasn't the health. Alright, there it is. Alright. Ah, uh, okay, this is Spark Man. It should be easy. I can also lock him into a pattern. Alright, we got him. Didn't take too much damage, I suppose. Uh, this is probably going to be Launch Octopus and get me out, and it still took damage. Alright. Lobo's just handing out health, really. Let me just waste your time, really, because I don't do any damage. You suck it when you just have to mash. Alright, launch octopus is going to be sort of tricky, but I can do it. Well, okay, so in this part, if you use Dink Million's weapon, you can safely traverse these spikes. Not mistaken. Alright. Not, not so bad, not so bad. Okay, this should be pretty easy. 
Flame Mammoth is Flame Mammoth is sort of tricky if you don't have uh sweetness, but I do, so it's not hard. Alright, is that it? Yeah, it is. Alright, now it's time to fight the boss of Sigma 3. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, so his weakness is the boomerang cutter. I can remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is the weakness. Sheesh. That's right. Knocks it down. It's kind of annoying. Ah, jeez, I'm not doing good at all. I was, but now I'm not, honestly. Bam, there we go. I think that, again, that didn't go too bad, but it could have been better. But yeah, guys, that's it. If you like the video, uh... Make sure to leave a like and maybe subscribe. And I'll see you in the next part where we'll face off against Sigma.